I'm forever grinding. Waiting for my time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. But life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff. I use it all as motivation, but it's hard to have the patience. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Reviews with the Blonde, where I grab the hottest, highly anticipated, newest snacks or drinks and requested by all of you, newly added food items from fast food restaurants. I then taste them, rate them, review them, let you know if you should eat or sweep, consume or grab that broom. Obviously you saw that, saw me do that with only one hand. I gotta hold the bags up with one hand or something, you know, had to use the one hand. But if you have not heard of or tried the Snyder's, Twisted Pretzels, I believe they released their first flavor last year in the first couple months of the of the pandemic. It was like honey glazed or honey something and it was pretty dang good. And when I first heard that they're gonna release two other flavors, you already know I had to try them. They got the Twisted Pretzels Jalapeno Ranch. I like to call it Jalapeno. I don't know, just like my little twist. So they got we got Jalapeno Ranch and then we also got Sour Cream and Onion. So let's try them. Let's see how they are. Ooh. As soon as you open the bag, you get that jalapeno smell right in there. Watch, everyone's gonna start saying jalapeno instead of, instead of jalapeno now. But it smells exactly like the crunches or crunchers, chips, whatever they are. That jalapeno flavor literally smells exactly the same. As soon as you open it up. So then there they are, they're just little Small twisted pretzel bites. Let's try it. So the jalapeno taste isn't as strong as the smell that is inside the bag. You get a very subtle hint and taste of the ranch, but the jalapeno is definitely the main factor, the main tasting factor in the pretzel bite. These things are very dangerous because they're very tiny. You just want to keep snacking on them, but it's good. It's good. I'm glad that the jalapeno taste isn't overpowering because to me, I can't have too much like jalapeno chips, just me personally, just because I feel like it, the smell starts going like directly into my nostrils and then I just smell like a giant jalapeno. But it's good. I wish the ranch was a little bit stronger in terms of taste, but still fairly good. Let's try sour cream and onion now. It smells like... You definitely smell the sour cream. Not much onion though. Hold on. Let me get another one of these. So you taste the onion, you just don't really smell it. So still good. Still, again, subtle taste of the onion. But Subtle taste of onion, I think it's a little bit too harsh of a sour cream taste and smell. But still good. Still good. Between the two, I like the jalapeno ranch a little bit more. Still both of them good. Personally, I would not sweep either off the table. I would buy the jalapeno ranch again. The sour cream and onion, I'm not feeling too much. Sour cream and onion chips, I do like. But these, in terms of like a pretzel, in like a pretzel form, and also you get the pretzel taste and hint in there too. Something about it is throwing me off. I'm not too crazy about it. But I still wouldn't sweep off the table. 
I would buy this again. In terms of rating, I'm gonna give the Jalapeno Ranch a eight out of 10. Sour Cream and Onion, I'm gonna give a 7.5 out of 10. I think, that, I think they're still fairly good. If you have tried either one, let me know what you thought about them down below. Leave a comment down below. If you're gonna try one, let me know which one you go with, or if you try both, let me know what you go with. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know how you like them. Leave a comment down below. As always, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, thank you for watching everyone, and peace out. Yeah.